she was fairly docile when we first met her, which is not what her personality is like. My name's Emily, and this is Cass's story for Geo Beats. We live in Montana. She was found in the middle of a snowstorm. She was brought into the shelter. My fiance and I had just moved in together, and he was kind of insisting we get a cat because I love them so much. And I was like, we don't even have like a couch yet. We don't have like any, like a bed frame. We have like a mattress on a floor. I don't know if we should get a cat just yet, but we went and we met her at the shelter and fell in love with her. When we first brought her home, we realized how much she meowed. Yeah, no, don't mind me. She's very much likes to sit Just, up by your face. Yeah, you keep doing what you need to do. She's not like a between the legs kind of cat. The plan was we would leave her in just the one room for maybe a week to let her really just adapt to us and the smells, the environment, everything. But she's so talkative. So anytime we would leave the room, she'd be at the door jam just meowing away the whole time. So we progressed a lot more quickly than we had originally planned and let her explore the house within two or three days. From then on, it's her domain. She gets to go where she wants. We'd just be in the kitchen and she'd be like meowing with us. She greets us every time we come home. Um, yes, yes, I'll put her on the phone with my friends to say hi, because she just talks all the time. It does feel very conversational. What you do? Yeah. Yeah. I think she's been, lived in a home before, but our local shelter does a lot of due diligence to try and find if it's a, a lost pet to find their owners and they weren't able to find anybody. Riley came into our life about a year after we adopted Cass. Such good babies. Now, if what? she thinks he's getting a treat, she would also very much like a treat. She feels like there's an injustice if he's getting one and she's not. Yeah. He's a very big, lanky dog, and I think they are still working on their interspecies communication. I've just never encountered a cat that talks this much, and very, very soft. She's a very soft cat. Mom, I love. She's so goofy. I'm sorry, you hate it. I find her whiskers around the house and like collect them. And I was showing her a whisker and yeah, she just like grabbed it and ate it. Did you eat it? I Googled it after and whiskers are mostly made out of keratin. And so I guess it's just like a snack sometimes for them. When we first got her, she liked to sleep with her face on my face every night. I had to negotiate breathing with her because she would get so close to my face and I'd have to like scooch away. And then she would get up and get closer to my face again. No regard. She likes the shoes. Maybe it's the smells, because I guess that would be the most outside smells concentrated in one place or her people. But yeah, she loves to sleep on them and like rubs all over them. She does move socks into her water dish. I've had to restrict water in the bedroom because I just so often find all of it sopped up into a sock. <laughs> I joke that she's my little shadow. She's very attached, which I'm very, very pleased about. <laughs> My love. 